everybody. Have a wonderful Saturday night, and we're here to kick it off for you. Whiskey Cinema, we're proud to start some Ben Stiller. So let's get Are this show started. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Never get tired of that. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Whiskey Cinema. I'm your host, Dano. With me, as always, Brandon Rich, Jordan the Juggernaut Eames. How are you? How is everybody doing on this fanciful Saturday night? I'm just looking forward to the end of the episode. Do you know what I mean? Just get that over. makes two yeah. of us. <laughs> because for those of you who didn't watch WrestleMania, I won. Brandon and Braun <laughs> Strowman victorious. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Eames, it will be doing a pickle shot because his wife let me know that he hates pickles. Good he don't sense. like the juice at all. At I all, don't see anything pickle. No. It was either that or Jello? Because I know you hate Jello too. <laughs> I would have gagged on the Jello. I'll tell you that right now. I've it's seen you do Jello shots. It's hilarious. It's the consistency it grosses yeah. me out. I can't do it. Yeah, every time I'll take one. Just be like. You're like Woody Harrelson in uh, Zombieland. Oh, yeah. I hate the consistency. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Disgusting. Uh, yeah, he'll be doing that at the end of the episode, which is why I'm also excited. <laughs> I'm a soldier. All week. I'm a soldier. I'll do it. I mean, I inferred. Well, yeah. I mean, you lost the bet. That's what losers do. Ask Shane. Hold on, on right now. How about you, Danny? How you feeling? I'm feeling good, guys. I had a late night last <laughs> night, uh, but uh, I'm ready for some Ben Stiller. I've been listening about him all day. Oh, what? What happened? What the fuck is going on? No, we're good. I'm waiting on you. Everything's perfect on my end. Is that what you're doing? You know what? You froze mid mid move for me, so it looked like you were yawning or something. Okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm excited. If you guys don't know, last week we did our wrestling episode. Brandon Jordan bet on the outcome of a match, which was Shane McMahon versus Braun Strowman. And the victor was Braun Strowman with Brandon Rich. The loser had to take a shot of something gross to just them. And it turns out Jordan hates pickles. So pickle juice will be the shot that he gets to take. So. <laughs> God, you're the worst. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so happy. This is the first time I've been happy on this what? podcast. That is not this week <laughs> we're talking oh. about Ben Stiller. Yeah. I'll say it. Okay. I like Ben Stiller <laughs> to a point. Okay. Most of Ben Stiller's movies don't hit for me. Well, I won't lie to you guys. Perfect. We're on the same page. Ben Stiller's overrated. 100%. <laughs> He's never the funniest guy in his own movie. No. <laughs> not even close. No. I mean, he goes in one movie can... where Ben Stiller's the funniest guy, I'll call you a liar. I mean, since I, I said that, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say anything because it's not true. I'll give you the argument Dodgeball is White Goodman. Oh, Ooh, that's a great answer. Dodgeball's below. How about heavyweight? He was pretty funny. He's not. Okay. Heavyweight is just White Goodman before he was the owner of the gym. It's true. It's White oh, Goodman. That movie. It's just a, a workout freak going crazy. <laughs> he with his creatine for the day. It's He's White Goodman. Free glove up him. That's right. But that that's the only move I like. Lunch has been anyway. canceled today. Do black <laughs> I love that movie, by the way. Okay. That's a fair argument. I forgot about Dodgeball. <laughs> he's fucking hilarious in that movie. <laughs> Nobody can my own really blood. <laughs> the one line that gets me always is my fitness consigliere. <laughs> I don't know why, but it always fucking makes me laugh. <laughs> and you've met my fitness consigliere, Michelle. Hilarious. Michelle. <laughs> yeah, Blame. That's... Blame. Blame. 
what are we getting in first? What, are we going overrated, underrated? Will you least have those? You know what yeah. you choose. I don't know what Danny's deal is, but he's having issues. It looks like it might just be me and you first. <laughs> I mean, Danny's phone, Danny's his camera is like a 1996 video recorder at this point. He's but still using his Nokia. It's got to be, dude. It's got to be. That thing can survive a nuclear war, but it can't take a picture or catch a video for anything. You know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I will start with, with after this. <laughs> Let's start with overrated. Overrated. All I right. Like I have a controversial answer. Well, my overrated, I straight up just put Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the oh correct answer. God. Okay. I don't think he's funny in like the funniest person in his movies. Yeah, no, I agree. God. Um, that That's is a so that is a right proper answer. I will give you that. I picked a movie. <laughs> I picked a single movie, not just the whole actor in general. Danny, what's yours? Because I want to save mine. Because I think mine's probably going to be controversial. Danny. This is rough. Danny, are you there? This is rough. You guys are... I'm going to have to blame you for this, Jordan. I have to blame you for this. We were Me fine. We for 30 here fine. before you got on here. Me and Brandon can hear just fine. It's you. <laughs> I'm in tears. This is just shit. <laughs> I still have asked you a question. I think your, your dial-up with the hamster is not working. It. <laughs> it's not me. Brandon, can you hear me? I can hear him just fine. Can you see me just fine? I can see you just fine. Danny's skipping, but he usually does. Apparently, he can't hear us. Yeah, apparently not. We're just fine on our angle. We're professionals, guys. I can a little bit. <laughs> All right, Eames. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do my overrated first. Let's do it. <laughs> my overrated... Is meet the parents. I don't hate that at all. Because people love that movie. It's got some funny lines. I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? It's the best line. But again, yes. Robert De Niro is funnier than Ben Stiller. Circle of Trust? 100%. That's, that's, all, that's all Robert De Niro. Yeah. Okay. He is the funniest part in that movie. Oh, absolutely. Ben Stiller has a few shining moments. But for the most part, it's Robert De Niro. Yeah. And I am not a fan of that movie, in all honesty. I like it. Uh, I don't think it's as good as probably a lot of people. I thought about putting that as my overrated. Mm -hmm. I actually preferred Meet the Fockers. Yeah, I agree. I didn't like Little Fockers, though. Well, nobody should have. Oh, that was a movie that never should have been made. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm not, I'm not bandwagoning that one. But I will go <laughs> Meet the Fockers. Yeah, That's no, the I agree. only one in that. Meet the Fockers was better. Meet the Parents, it is like revered to people. And I don't know why. I don't enjoy it at all. I think it's, for me, it was one of those movies I wasn't expecting to be good because I knew Robert, not Robert. Yeah, Robert. Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. more of a serious actor. I wasn't expecting him to be funny. And he fucking slayed. He did. And then it's Ben Stiller, it's Owen Wilson. You know them. They do the same shit. Owen Wilson oh, always God. gives me a good laugh when I watch a wedding. Oh, Wow. Wow. When he's taking him through, showing him all the fine cuts of wood that he has and stuff, like, I got a kick out of that. But again, it's Ben Stiller's movie, and he's probably the third best person in that movie. Yeah. Jinxie Cat. I was going to say, if we're counting just people, because that cat <laughs> fucking slay too. That the cat, cat is going to be a star, I'm sure. How many cats do you know can piss and shit in the toilet and flush it, huh? I barely can. Yeah. By the evidence, I can't. I need a target at the bottom of mine, or I miss. You so you like a stormtrooper. <laughs> it's that imperial training, bro. It's bad news. It's bad news. Oh, God. Shoot over there. <laughs> so, Danny, if you can hear me, what's your overrated? Nope. Okay. Here's the rating. What's your over? <laughs> My overrated... I hope I don't sound too Royal Tin Bombs uh, crazy. That movie I'm not a fan of. Royal Tenenbaum? Yeah, I, yeah. I agree with that one too. 
No nothing, disagree here. Nothing getting through. No, we just said we disagree. Okay. <laughs> hear me? Okay. <laughs> it's weird we have a live studio audience on a live broadcast. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to talk throughout most of this episode for some reason. We're having some problems. I also wanted to put Madagascar here, but I've already talked about how that movie is overrated. Oh, we'll and get to it. It's not Ben Stiller being funny. It's we'll not get, any of the main characters being funny. We will get to Madagascar. I have some shit to say about that movie. I already said my shit in our what, a DreamWorks episode. Mm hmm. But I'll fucking say it again. <laughs> I like how Amanda says, mic check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Robert. Roberto? Roberto! Tip of the hat Ooh, to you. Riding Irish. Yeah, look at that hat, dude. Yeah, mine's just the same all the way around. <laughs> See his, his little smile underneath? Oh, fuck, I got a Utes hat like that. Yeah, yeah. I have a, another hat like this, dude. They're dope. I'm a big fan. But Ben Stiller. <laughs> Let's Bensler. lean it, Danny. Here's our rating. We're going under. What's your underrated <laughs> Ben Stiller movie? Great. <laughs> really underrated? Oh my god, how that under? You guys go ahead and go first. <laughs> I'll catch up later <laughs> when I lag the correct timing. Okay. All right. I will start. My underrated, I have three. But we already talked about one, so I won't say it. Okay. It's going to be Heavyweights. Because I do love that movie. That's my underrated as well. Uh, I just had to go Duplex. Duplex? Yeah. Ben Stiller, Drew Barrymore. Mm. I don't love the movie, but it's a good movie. Judging by your reaction, you've never seen it. <laughs> I didn't know it existed. In all uh, honesty, it's a good movie. It's just people buy a duplex and have fucking problems. Like with their podcast or is that with just Drew Barrymore? <laughs> Drew Barrymore is not a fucking problem, you piece of shit. She's a goddamn angel. <laughs> <laughs> Those jokes always get me. Uh, and then uh, I also went to start much. I like duplex. <laughs> It's very much like a long time calling. Yeah. I mean, it's fair. You just stop trying. I'm waiting. Uh, he catches up a good six seconds later. I mean, he's watching the live feed. Feel the <laughs> he's watching the delay. Like, there, there's a solid delay there. That That's where he is. That's California's internet. <laughs> hey, bro. Cali. <laughs> Do we want to try again? Figure no. something out? Or are we running? We're running. He's relaxed. We're already going, dude. Fair enough. Been for this for a while. All those jokes about kicking him off. <laughs> Now's the time. Uh, I completely forgot about Starsky and Hutch. That is a solid underrated movie. Yeah, I thought everybody was gonna say they hated it, dude. I loved that movie when I was younger. His stupid when they're undercover in like the club, do and it. he's like, do it, do it. Do it. And it's fucking like, like that dance dude fucking kills me every time their little dance number they do. I personally loved that movie. I like did have no expectations going into that movie. I was young. I didn't care about movie expectations. <laughs> I watched it recently. I still enjoy that movie. Yeah, I watched it like three weeks ago just because I saw it on Netflix. I was like, I need yeah. a bullshit movie. Next thing you know, I'm sitting here. I forgot I like this movie. Yeah, dude. Starsky and Hutch was solid. Oh, I went heavyweight. Oh, heavyweight. Because I loved heavyweights as a kid. Watched it recently. I still oh, love Disney it. Plus. Disney Plus, bro. Who didn't want to be a part of that camp? Fat or not? I know. They're like, well, come to fat camp. We'll get you skinny by riding go-karts and jumping into water. I'm like, yeah. That explains a lot. As a fat kid, I was like, mom. Figure this out. That is good. Game. It's like, ah, get a third job. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta you send me to this camp, mom. I gotta figure this thing out. Who didn't want to be on the blob? I mean, right? that thing I looks amazing. I myself doing it, but I, I was gonna it. say, 
That's one of those ones you fucking aren't expecting it. Your innards are going to stay down on the ground and the rest of you is going to go up. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked yeah. it. I, I thought the, the, the Ben Stiller coming in and the other guy who used to be fat, <laughs> knowing all the hidden candy spots. Yeah. That was hilarious. Yo, the kid, look at this. <laughs> yeah. no. The kid that snuck his candy in on his shirt. And looking clean. <laughs> oh. And the one guy's like, still good. I'm like, oh my God. But I love that movie. The triathlon, for lack of a better term, at the end, I thought was funny. It was because they didn't succeed in any part they shouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. They just outsmarted him in the end. <laughs> hey, man. Brains over brawn. The Damn. tale of time. It's some sick of go-kart racing. Oh, again, dude, I just I, I still want to go to that camp. How do I become a counselor at that camp? I was going to say, I'll become a counselor. Who do I got to get in touch with? that camp on Crystal Lake and I'll still go. <laughs> That's facts, dude. I'd risk it. I'd so still risk it. I'd be there in a hurry. I'd be like, you mean I can have fun and not have to remember anything after that? <laughs> Perfect. My last bit of fun before my dying day, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> uh, but like I said at the beginning, this is Ben Stiller being white good in the Fort Knox. It's no, his, no. his prelude. It's a prequel story. <laughs> this is the prequel to Dodgeball. Because even his backstory, I used to be 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. Sex, and then I decided to lose. I don't remember what the fuck he says. Yeah. And then he just goes fucking crazy. Hey, man. Globo Jim. At the end of heavyweights, he's a fat guy. Again, just like Dodgeball. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. I think you're right. When he, gets, when he gets all feral, when they lock him in, and he gets all feral and he escapes, and he's like, they got, got it attached to batteries or whatever, so like the cage shocks him if he gets too close. Right. And then he's oh, that's he's, some brutal shit for some kids to be doing. <laughs> here's what I'm, I'm I'm agreeing with your theory that he is this is White Goodman. He gets shocked, and in dodgeball, he's using the the things on his chest to shock him when he tries to eat the pizza or whatever it is. Or not the pizza, he tries to eat the donut. And he's like, just eat it, just eat it. And then he gets all shocked and shit. I think he's just into that sort of thing. Because, because that's a I don't keep shame anybody. Hey. Definitely not me. I'm, not shaming. I'm just saying it's because of what happened in heavyweights. He uses that. It's a discipline that's technique. Motivation. That's what I'm saying, dude. Dude, I like I, it. I feel like I need to get on Reddit and just start a theory right now. Dude, why? Just get Reddit to come to us. Reddit should come to they us. They did it for GameStop. They can do it for Whiskey Cinema. <laughs> Goddamn right. The buzz. Tag Reddit in this. Let's get this thing rolling. Do it. Fuck yeah. We're we got we got conspiracies off the chart here, so let's get them out there on Reddit. It'll spread like wildfire. What other movie can I tie into Dodgeball? With ben Stiller? <laughs> <laughs> we got to bring in some uh, – uh, what's the – he does a terrible, but I find it funny. Vince Vaughn. Oh. We could, we could tie in some Vince, Ma Vince Vaughn movies into this. For the average Joes, we'd have to think about I can't it. We'll talk on this episode. It won't work. Wait, hold on. Reply to this. Nope, he's still gone. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. We'll just. I agree with that. Zoolander was crazy. I have to do things ahead of time. Oh my god. Uh, we are a professional podcast, guys. <laughs> this shows. <laughs> this is on brand. You know what I mean? This is perfect, man. We fail a lot. But you know what's great about us is that we keep on going, just like the fat kids at Fat Camp in their relay race. That's exactly right. They just keep on going, and one day we'll beat all those other jocks. <laughs> no, I agree, dude. We just got to keep on... Keep on keeping on, and we'll get there. Right now, we're in like the, the, the sack race part still. Yeah, 100%. We are totally in the sack race. Once we get to that balloon shaving, then we're just going to fart and fucking start cooking. Just... <laughs> yes, the buzz, the buzz agrees. Balloon shaving should be in the Olympics. I mean, 
that takes some fucking dexterity. I agree. We're talking true athletes. Who can shave a balloon? Dude. I'm just saying. I see football players' beards these days. That's fine. Dude, I'm just saying when we carry episodes, it's rough. I feel like Danny keeps us on track. A little bit. But <laughs> it's not rough. It's just great entertainment. It is. That's what right, it is. Is entertainment. See, he just barely got it. He barely heard what we said, and he laughed about it. Well, maybe if that son of a bitch would get out of the 1900s and into the <laughs> he's got he's got the iMac computer with yeah, the colored Holly, back. Holly was crazy. Was really good. Is that what you're talking about? No, I'll be quiet. No, dude. Hey, whenever we talk, we'll just wait six seconds and then you join in. I'll just text him like, "Hey, say you're underrated now." <laughs> See, <laughs> no, this, you actually texted, <laughs> and he's the only one without his phone. <laughs> yeah, it's probably recording the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stephen Rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that. Wow. That you have the earpiece and you pick up the mouthpiece, so they're separate. Because that's what he's got, I'm sure. Danny, text your check your texts. Beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Ooh, boop, boop. <laughs> I can hear you guys. I'm just on a six second delay. Oh, then say your underrated movie. Jeez Louise, you didn't think I could hear you? I hear you fine. This kept you saying choppy. <laughs> Heartbreak kid for me. I actually knew that movie was shit. I watched it. I liked it. It's good. I don't love it. I don't hate it. What's it about? Give me a rundown. Okay, this is where you want me to talk. I, uh, I well, I, no, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a Ben Stiller movie. It's a Long Came Polly, but it's a dirtier version. I liked it. People said it sucked, but I, I enjoyed it. Good rundown. Give me a rundown of a long came Polly. Make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil Taylor Hoffman playing basketball was the best. And Jennifer Aniston slapping her ass and trying to figure out how hard to do it. There's a couple good scenes that I like. There's, but again, Philip Seymour Hoffman's the funny one in that movie. Agreed. Another serious actor being better at comedy than Ben Stiller. I was going to say the same thing. I that did I, I, Academy Awards. <laughs> Before this movie came out, I was that guy who was terrible at basketball but would say shit like raindrops or make it rain. I would say <laughs> dumb shit like that. And I remember watching this movie with my buddies and them just looking over and laughing. And I was like, fuck you guys, okay? I'm out here working and I'm making you guys laugh being terrible at basketball. I'm out here doing the Philip Seymour Hoffman grind. That's right. I'm on my Seymour Hoffman grind and y'all are being good at basketball. Who's winning in life? This guy. <laughs> yeah, it ain't them. Yeah, well, no. Seymour Hoffman's a winner. <laughs> yeah, where did, you? where did playing Not basketball you. get him? In rec leagues? Come on, get out of here with that noise. It looks like the dude who tries way too hard when he goes to the gym. Oh, yeah. He's the guy that grunts on a 30-pound squat. <gasps> Gets up there, you know what I mean? The grunters are always the ones. Everybody know in the room that he's working out. He'll do a couple <laughs> curls and leave. The guy that stretches super, like... <laughs> Before I, think he does that the, I think he does that in the movie. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I think he gets too into his stretching. I don't remember a single Ben Stiller part other than the ass slap in that movie. Yeah, dude, I agree. That's what I'm saying. I think that's more because of Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty is key, bro. Honesty is key. All right. I don't know if we want to jump into our commercial break now. Apparently, real quick, your voice goes in and out of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mine? Yeah. Rob, Rob's saying that your voice keeps going in and out of Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. I ain't even mad then. Ain't yeah, even I, mad. I don't even know what you're talking about. It's a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really good. That's my hey, Let me interrupt. Guys, with that last impression Brandon did, we'll take a break right now and then we'll jump into our uh, favorites and least favorites. This ad is brought to you by The Buzz. Thank you for having us, guys. Appreciate you. <laughs> Check out the other show.
that time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Still struggling. We are back from our break. We are back. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, let's jump into worst games. You and me. We got this, dude. We're going to carry this thing into the Yeah, no more trying to tag Danny in. No more. It's just you and me. We're going to fucking carry this thing into the sunrise, bro. Dude, fuck yeah. We're going to butch Are we doing favorite or least favorite? We're doing worst. Yeah, least favorite. Worst. All right, I'm going to start out. I got a slash on this one. Perfect. Me too. The first slash is Madagascar and all of its spinoffs and sequels. Even the Penguins? Whoa. Fuck. But what about the TV show? Haven't seen it. What about the Christmas specials? Also haven't seen They have Christmas specials? Dude, every animated show. Even Shrek's got like 16. Kung Fu Penguins has got fucking Christmas specials. This is, this They're in Asia or China or wherever. Fuck, I think Toy Story has at least three. They aired on ABC. That's fair. I should have thought about that. You're right. See? Come on. But Star Wars even has them. Hey, man. I'm just saying, everybody's got a Christmas special now. We don't look at that Christmas special, okay? We move on. <laughs> Although, fun fact, that's your first sighting of Boba Fett. So, you know what I mean? There's no Boba Fett without the Christmas special. I mean, there probably would be, but. And yeah. uh, I wish I could unsee. Madagascar, I got you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Way to bring it back in, dude. We're here. We're fucking here for this. <laughs> uh, I'm with you, though. I don't think it sucks. I think <clears throat> the main characters suck. Yeah. I love um, the little lemur things and even mm -hmm. the penguins. Yeah. The penguins being like covert agents. Hilarious. It's fucking funny. King Julian. Hilarious. Just a nitwit lemur. What lines do we remember from this movie? I like to move it, move it. Mm -hmm. Smile and wave, boys. What's it say? Smile and wave. Smile and wave. That's it. Little line. No. Or <laughs> you get you get the main characters who are acted terribly, written for terribly. I guess I didn't mind the hippo, which I believe was Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith, it's Ross Geller, because nobody really cares about who he is. Does anybody know who his real name is? No, it's David Ross. Schwinger. I was uh, going to say Ross, in all honesty, when Ross. I brought it up. I was going to say Ross. <laughs> <Damn> that. <laughs> and then Chris Rock. Yeah. Dude, and I love Chris Rock. I like some Chris Rock. I'm not huge on Chris Rock, to be honest. I like his stand up more than I do most of his movies, but I think his movies are trash for the most part. <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> but I like his stand up a lot. I think Chris Rock's pretty funny. But Madagascar as a whole, just terrible to me. Yeah. Even for a kid's movie, I was like, you're making jokes Ooh. that kids, even kids, are finding stupid. Like, All right. I got one for you, Eames. Go for it. You have to watch one. Oh. You're using Madagascar or the cruise. Oh, dude. For me, it's the cruise, but I like the cruise. I don't love cruise. It's not I would probably take the cruise. Oh, shoot. I am a, a least fan of Madagascar than I am the cruise. Are you going to say that's your least favorite animated movie? Uh, Y'all. At least top three. You know what? I agree. I agree. All three of them. One, two, and three. <laughs> exactly. Madagascar, one, two, and three. The least of the favorites. Uh, my second slash, or my, my second, or my, I guess my other slash, is a movie that I chose, not only because it was fucking terrible, but terrible. the first movie is one of my favorites. Oh, I know I'm where you're going now. Zoolander 2. Yep, that's one of my slashes. <laughs> Fuck that movie. It almost made me hate Zoolander. Dude, I think it put a bitter taste in my mouth because I watched Zoolander 2 somewhat recently and I was like, I don't mm -hmm. remember this being as good. Yeah. And I think it's because I truly hated Zoolander 2. Yeah. I dude, like, and I mean hate. Like, I love Anchorman with Will Ferrell. 
Anchorman 2? I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's not a movie. I agree. But I had a dream that I had watched this movie called Anchorman 2. And I fucking hated it to the point where I hate Anchorman. Dude, but there not, you go. But it's, not out there. What we do is we call that the hangover effect. The <laughs> hangover one was amazing. Yeah. Hangover two did not need to be made and makes no. the first one look worse. Yeah. It's why Bridesmaids is a better movie. I agree. I swear to God, if they make a sequel, I'll go see it. But if they better not. Dude, that's how most sequels are. Every time they come out with a new sequel, I'm like, like if it's a movie that I like, Anchorman, I was like, fuck yeah, Anchorman 2, I'm stoked, I love Anchorman. And then the second one came out, and I was like, but why? Yeah. Why would you do this? And now every, and Zoolander 2, same thing. Now every sequel that is ever going to come out, I'm, I don't want a part of it. I don't even want to see it. They fly too close to the sun, even little Fockers. Yeah, he got too He's like, I made two good movies in a row. Yeah. Time for a third. Let's trilogy this bitch. I'd have thrown those little fuckers into the sun. That's what I would have done. Fuck yeah. Make you boot and Ben Ben still are next making that movie. Fuckers. <laughs> Fuck those little fuckers. <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> Good puns. Good puns, guys. We're here for this. Danny, great show. Fork it out. Ow, dog. Sorry. <laughs> that was my dog. That's on me. A lot That's of a uh, lot of issues going on today, boy. Guys, this is a top tier episode for you guys today. Hey, you know what? I feel like we're finally getting a mojo though. Let's yeah. get it. We were, and then my dog bursted in the door, but we're back. Your dog would have been better than having Danny just sit there and look sad. <laughs> um I have Zoolander 2 as well. But then I slashed it with the watch. Yes. Because I was so excited for this movie. Yeah. Owen, not Owen, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, who I love, Ben Stiller, who I enjoy some of his movies, you know? And then Richard, oh, fuck, I can't pronounce his last name, Aoti? I think that sounds right. Sounds right. Who I actually, he's the best part of this movie. Yeah, I agree. Which is crazy because he's Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill. Mm-hmm. And I walked away saying everybody else sucked, but yeah. him, I want to watch more of his movies. <laughs> right? I agree. This is one of those movies that I, I felt too. I was stoked for this movie. I was like, oh, this is going to be hilarious. Right? Like, this is going to be great. And I watched it and I was just like, it took a left turn when it got to like the aliens part. Like, when you first see or whatever that they're aliens or whatever the fuck it is, I don't remember. Yeah. But I was just like, why? Like, this was funny before this. Like, why couldn't you have just kept going with this instead of having to do this? And it took, like, a straight downturn in my I Just plummet. Yeah. It was like Danny's phone. Straight. Like Danny's, uh... <laughs> no, yeah, no. <clears throat> it was like Danny's participation on this podcast. Started out here. We're off the map at this point. You know what I mean? He's the opposite of Drake. Started at the top, now he's at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Started from the top, and now he's here. He's way down here. Um, but I don't have to, first of all, Robert, I don't have to make any exceptions for Fast and the Fear. Fuck off. <laughs> and the watch is not great, Amanda. Yeah, no, the watch is not good. Not good. Not great. It, it has a few parts that I was, you know, that got me laughing. Mainly that, well, I can't remember his name now that you bring it up. Richard Aoti is what I'm going yes. with. Mainly him. A few of them had some chuckles, but Richard Aoti was the best part of that movie, hands down. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. It's a lot like uh, At World's End. Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. Mm -hmm. uh, I think At World's End came out after, but it's way better. Same premise, though. Mm -hmm. Four friends go on a bar crawl, aliens invade. Yeah. But way fucking better. Well, I mean, it's Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Most of the things you they can't, do. You can't go wrong with those two. <laughs> Most of the things are fucking still, weird. It's on. That's a good combo. We like Starsky and Hutch and Dodgeball. 
You throw in Jonah Hill, it's like, oh, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It should have been up here, and then it came out. It's it's like Danny. It's off the map. It's fucking horrible. They should have silenced that movie, just like we did Danny. Yeah. Our plan is fine. I will say about Rob's comment, only because it's an offshoot, my exception is Hobbs and Shaw. Well, I don't consider that a Fast and the Furious movie or else I'll throw up a little bit. Because I truly enjoyed Hobbs and Shaw. That movie is great. And I the feel that had... missing was a giant shark. <laughs> yeah, dude. What kind of shark, though? My God. <laughs> it's a megalodon. I never thought they'd be the perfect duo. Dude, I agree. It makes sense, though. Jay Statham's all kicks and punches. The Rocks, I'm going to rock bottom you, you jabroni. <laughs> yeah. My favorite scene in that movie, just quick sidebar, is, and I think we've talked about this before, is when they're taking the two doors. Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Finally. Thank God. When they're taking the two doors, and he's like, no, no, this is my door. And he's like, Okay. And he goes in there, and there's like fucking 12 dudes. And The Rocks is just one dude, and he just like socks him once and moves on. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. And they're like back and forth, too. Like Rock being the funny guy and Jason Statham being like the straight man. Hilarious. He's also had good jokes. Oh, 100%. Best they're part like, of the movie, Ben Stiller wasn't in it. 100% fact. 100% fact. Oh, oh maybe yeah. this was Ugh. Danny, reply if you hear me. I assume this is still terrible. Is it still terrible? Does it work now? Danny, can you hear me? Yeah, no, we're moving on. We're still it's we're still bad. Still, it's still bad. Yeah, you didn't hear us say, can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that. I can hear you guys talking. I'm just, I was hoping the delay is good. I will keep You're talking. supposed to be a part of the podcast, not watch it. <laughs> and get the delay like everybody else. That's fair. Um, it, it, it's nice to be on this end. Usually I'm talking a lot. It's nice to just watch. It is nice to not have to listen to you. That being said, let's jump into our best. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, I'm just going to throw it out now. It's dodgeball to me. No, 100%. You ain't wrong. I fucking love this. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. I, <laughs> <thanks>. <laughs> I can't believe you got me laughing, dog. I feel like I just like like you never did. go by yourself. You're nervous when I talk, but if I talk, you have a giggle fit. I got I just gotta let you guys run with it. Sorry for the mix up, guys. We'll work on it, but you guys just gotta carry it. I can't fix it while we're going. I anymore. just thought it was funny. You throw in one word, and that was it. Dodgeball. <laughs> Nonchalant <laughs> slided it. Well, and the best part was is you, funny. It whatever was I like, say is gonna be funny. Yeah. It was after we started talking again, and there was a slight break in dodgeball. dodgeball. And then that was it. <laughs> you should do all your stand-up shows delayed. You're more funny this way. <laughs> it's fucked right. up, dude. Nobody you disagrees, know. obviously. I quote Dodgeball on the daily. Okay? <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Dude, fucking love that quote. Who hasn't quoted that, right? Yeah, who hasn't thrown a wrench at someone and yelled that? You can dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> okay? The five D's of dodgeball? Read them off, Danny. Or, no, sorry. <laughs> Brandon, read them off. Dodge, dick, dive, <laughs> duck, and dodge. Nick Zaria was the guy who played it. And I, that's all I got. Keep going. <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it, dude. You got it. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. This movie is quotable. I say that a lot. <laughs> this movie is quotable from start to finish. Right? Uh, this is Justin Long's best movie. Not that that's saying much, because he was in some dog shit movies. I was going to say, what has it been in that's good? Waiting. With Ryan Reynolds, but more I so. Like, I hate to admit it. I want to say he was in it. Uh, what's the one about the school he creates? Accepted. Accepted. I like that. Ron Hill is the wiener. Ask me about my wiener. Who doesn't and I do that? like that movie. And he's I'm also saying, in Jeepers Creepers, which is a good horror movie. I like Jeepers Creepers. And I good. the first one, again, second. Ben Stiller needs to stop. Jeepers Creepers needed to stop. 100 <laughs> percent 
<laughs> ben Stiller needs to stop. Uh, Ben Stiller as White Good. I feel like it. White Goodman is just how Ben Stiller should be in real life. Well, all his movies are like that. He has those crazy explosions. We just does. Mm-hmm. He literally does this. Yeah, that is what he does every movie. <laughs> we shouldn't be shackled by the employee-employer relationship, unless, of course, you're into that sort of thing. Oh, <laughs> I love that he's reading an encyclopedia. <laughs> He like comes in, he pumps up his little yeah. underwear thing, and then he's just, just getting some light reading in. And he shuts the book. My this one of my the only movie where he's I will give the argument that he's the funniest person. Yeah, I agree. Vince Vaughn gives you the nonchalant, relaxed guy. Too. I would say Vince Vaughn is just Vince Vaughn. I feel in this movie. Yeah, smooth talking, charismatic, mm-hmm. funny guy. Yeah. Smooth talker, very nonchalant and relaxed about everything. Yeah. Uh, when he wins like $50 million or whatever it is, uh, and he, he meets Steve the Pirate again. Arr. <laughs> and and uh, he says, Arr, Peter, I'm going to be late on my membership this month. And at the end of it, he <laughs> says, he's like, yeah, man, I thought about what you said, and you're right, dude. I'm not a pirate. Like. He's like, but if you're not a pirate, who am I going to share this buried treasure with? And the buried treasure comes out, and he's just like, Gar, Peter. And he's like, ha ha! And he like meets everybody again. <laughs> Hilarious. Dude, I fucking love Steve the Pirate. Yeah, Steve the Pirate's great. I also love uh, Justin Long as a cheerleader. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. The Let's scene. That chick from all that. The scene. Yeah, I was going to say, is that the same chick? That's I've always weird. thought I I didn't ever like for sure confirm, but I always thought it was. Oh, I for sure confirmed when I watched the shit out of all that as a kid. Who didn't? Who didn't? As it was kid. all that as a '90s kid. Who didn't? Okay. <laughs> uh, the scene, the grossest scene in that movie, where she falls on him and they pull her <laughs> off, and you hear the <laughs> the suction. Right, the suction. <laughs> oh, so gross. I forgot about that part. Oh, just disgusting. Yeah, I love Dodgeball. Quote it daily. It's one of my favorites. I have a slash, I will admit. Okay, you slashed the whole episode, and that's fine, because apparently this episode, we needed more slashes. Apparently, dude. That's exactly what it was. Uh, My second, or my other slash is Zoolander. I said it before. It's one of my favorites. It is a dumb movie, full of dumb humor. But I enjoy dumb humor almost as much as anybody, if not more, I'll admit. Like, doing our stupid little, like, pointing up thing makes me fucking laugh every time. I won't lie to you. Danny's is delayed. See? Yeah. Well, see? You know what I mean? <laughs> I knew if I said it, I'd get him right as he said it. <laughs> when you guys look at each other, and argue... <laughs> <laughs> whenever you guys look at each other and argue or talk shit about each other, it fucking kills me. I, I love dumb humor. And, uh, Hearing Owen watching Owen Wilson throw a computer full of all the documents and data they need to prove Mugatu is the evil one. He says that's he chucks it off and says that's bullshit. Mugatu's a dick. He brainwashed Derek to kill the claymation dude. I will forever laugh at that part. It's hilarious when they're too dumb to figure out how to just take the hard drive. So they bring the whole computer. <laughs> I forgot. And they're like standing <laughs> around it, like hitting it like monkeys, like not figuring it out. The gas pump scene. The gas pump scene. And then he makes, <laughs> he's like, no. He's like, there, no one's going to fit in this. And it's like made out of like sticks and shit. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. That is a good movie. I too slashed. Ooh. Because I can. Tropic Thunder. That's, that was that's a third slash, dude. Hundred percent. But not not because of Ben Stiller. No, 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 no. It's because of Jack Black and Robert Downey Jr., Tom Cruise, mm-hmm. Matthew McConaughey. Not Ben Stiller. Though. Old Pecker. Michael T. Jackson. Or not Michael. Brandon T. Jackson. You think Brandon I get the first name right? <laughs> Brandon T. Jackson. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is my favorite part in this movie. Oh, absolutely. 
I love Jack Black. Guys, is another dude. The the I will laugh at it every time it's brought up. Every time I see it, when he says, "What the hell, you?" He's like, "What, he's like, what do you mean, you people?" And Brandon, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> he just is like, "What the hell, you mean, you people?" Can't forget about Mr. Toby Maguire being in this too. The Toby yeah. Maguire part of that best <laughs> kiss. <laughs> All right. right. Is overrated. You want to say the watch is good, but Tropic Thunder's overrated. Okay. I don't even know what to do now, guys. What do I do? What's next? You're gonna say Ninth in Museum's a fucking classic? Jesus. Christ. I feel like at this point it's divorce. Am I wrong? Well, last week Undertaker's overrated. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. This is two bad episodes for you, Amanda. That's what I'm saying, dude. Follow Danny. <laughs> <Mute>. <laughs> That's it. I, I've, I've reached my breaking point. Tropic Thunder is amazing. Tropic Thunder is really good. I like I love Okay, that. I fucking love this movie. Those are three great movies. Those are his three best movies, bar none, hands down. I agree. And there's no other options you could throw in there unless Danny has an option. We'll wait the delay. Do you have another option for one of his best movies? I feel like you're still trying to include me, which I appreciate, but you might not want to. Uh, no, no, I want. We never do. My favorite is Dodgeball, and I didn't wanted to talk about. I know a lot of Benistiller facts that I'll never get to use, but he wrote uh, *Tropic Thunder* and directed it. It's all his brainchild. So when you say it's not his movie, this is his most movie. That's his. It's my one of my favorites. I can watch that. Once a week for the rest of my life. I love Tropic Thunder, and it's got the best cast I've ever seen. I agree. I just wanted to make sure you were done before I started talking again. Right? It's hard with that delay. <laughs> I know. Where are I agree. Oh, wait. I agree. He was excited, too, by the way. Before the podcast started, he was telling me how he's got all these Ben Stiller facts. He's like, I love doing this it's podcast. Kind of I heard so much cool. about actors in their movies. I know, dude. I genuinely, Danny, because I feel like this would be this would be right up your alley with all the facts. You know, this would be perfect. So we got a cat corner with Danny, but not this episode. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know what we'll do? We'll create a segment, Danny. You have to shoot a segment. Facts about the character, the the actors we just talked about. Perfect. I want also a fact about Duplex as well. You can find that video when he posts it to our Facebook and Instagram, maybe Twitter. Yep. Honestly, I don't know. Really Spit off as many facts as you can about Ben Stiller in a minute and post it. Do it right Perfect. after this. I don't care. Perfect. Yeah, I do it. it. I, I have the time. I should do it now. Really. But keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Danny's factual corner is what it is what we're gonna call it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um yeah. there is some movies we're leaving out. Okay. The big one though, is there's something about Mary? Ooh, that's true. Nobody brought it up, which I was surprised. Not fully, though. Where would you put it? So I almost put this in my overrated. Okay. Because this movie, to me, is a good movie, but it's more because of some parts. Parts are hilarious in this movie. Those parts carry it. The rest of the movie is just like a good movie, but it gets so much love. Dude, you spelled it right out. I couldn't agree more. That was perfect. I'm just you like Ron Stroman. I'm a fucking winner. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Brandon? For that excellent, just excellent description of something about Mary, I'm going to put this one down to you, bruv. That was Tennessee Fire. That was not my pick. Ah, all right. That's fair. Because we need to keep going. You might vomit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I'm saving that for the end, and I wanted to take a shot to you for that excellent description of something about Mary. A lot of people remember one scene, really, and it's Cameron Diaz with the hair. Yeah. It is in her hair. Sorry, I don't mean to censor myself. She had cum in her hair. <laughs> she says, oh, my hair gel? Let me borrow some. And it's just like sticking up. Which, first of all, I feel his pain. Who hasn't? Rubbed one out before a date. <laughs> I do before every episode. That's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Another quotable line? Fucking Danny. 
Good job, Danny. Yeah, solid. You chime in. You do it good. <laughs> I will. What, are your, what are your thoughts on there's something about Mary? You agree with me? No, I agree with you 100%. I like about Mary a lot. Matt Dillon's really good, too, in that. Uh, the ping in the bush scene where they think he's a serial killer and he's beating him up in the interrogation room, I always thought was super funny. Uh, what are you, the king of the forest? You can pee wherever you want. Was it eight-minute abs to, like, six-minute abs with uh, the guy from Dumb and Dumber who makes the dolphin noises? So funny. And it drives him crazy. I love that part. Yeah. See? Like I said, there's my parts. Like you said, parts of this movie are hilarious. And you're right. It's parts of this movie. It is. They carry the movie. Yeah. And they, they carried Ben Stiller's career. 100% fact. I will say, I quote the two <laughs> announcers for Dodgeball <clears throat> all the time. I say that's a bold move, Cotton. Like, that's a bold move, Cotton. Or <laughs> I truly sure like pumpkins, Cotton. Like, even if we're not talking about pumpkins, I'll just randomly be like, I sure do like pumpkins, Cotton. Because it makes me laugh. Because <laughs> it makes me laugh. Hilarious. All right. And a movie I thought you guys would bring up, I thought it would be both of your underrated, is Mystery Men. Mystery oh, Men. my God. We got to talk about this fucking movie. Yeah, I called it. My time I called it. Keep going. I <laughs> forgot about Mystery Men. I, I thought for sure this would be both of your underrated. Slashing it as a favorite. Okay. Slash, Slash it is an underrated too. I want to talk about it so bad, it. but I didn't have a time to remember about it. I like Mystery Men so much. William H. Macy is the shoveler. Mr. Furious. You got Barbosa, Jeffrey Rush as uh, the pinky guy. Captain Amazing, who has sponsors on him like NASCAR. Mystery Men is a weird gem that I've always liked. I'm so glad you brought it up. And it's on Netflix. It just came out on Netflix. So you guys can check it out there if you haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, until April 30th to watch Which it. Netflix let me know right after I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> you already watched the movie. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what is it? Um, it's the first line in the movies, but really drew me in. Ben Stiller jumps on the bar, kicks someone, and says, I hate it when people chew with their mouth open. I was like, all right. <laughs> this is my favorite superhero. That's it. The Mr. Furious jumped from here to your favorite with one line. Dude, easy. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this movie. All right, I'm in. <laughs> the fucking is it Von Frankenstein or something like that? I don't remember his name. That's his name. Yep, the Frankenstein. Yeah, Frankenstein, and he's got those like, and he's got like the the knives on his fingers. Yeah, the stupid little. <laughs> Pinky the fingernail things. The game. Well, that's how you should know to never trust a man. Let him out of an asylum if his fingernails are National Geographic long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get the where he's he's getting up all the gangs, and you get like the '50s varsity team. You get the Disco Boys, and I love how the Disco Boys are like. <laughs> And then they like punch you, like they do some dumb dance, and then they punch they were you. Like from the villains <laughs> were fucking from the seventies. Yeah, dude, I love that movie so much. When they go find their powers, you get uh, uh, Tom Waits as uh, if you know Tom Waits as a singer, crazy fucking voice. Just look look up a single song by Tom Waits, crazy voice. Not like that; it's great. It is creepy as fuck. <laughs> Dude, but you said psychopaths. He's in it. He plays just a small mm -hmm. little part. His voice makes him so. It sounds like he was smoking in the womb. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> I don't know. Voice. Something happened. I want to say it was a motor vehicle accident or something because he used to have a good voice, and something happened, and his voice vocal cords got damaged in some way, and now he has like the deepest, gravelliest voice of all time. Uh, he plays like their number one fan, basically, or like he, that's he plays the like, scientist. Yes, he creates their weapons. Yes, that's what he does. He creates their Ooh. weapons. You're absolutely right. Tornado in the can. Tornado in the can. He has the Sphinx or the Sphinx. Was his name the Sphincter? The Sphinx. The Sphinx. Yeah, the Sphinx. Yes. Sphincter. You get uh, the Sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> you get uh, the, spleen. It's the, other guy. the spleen. That's the one I was looking for. The guy who, when he's like, Hubie Herman. Yeah, I was going to say, he's like, oh, mm -hmm. he's, he's like uh, 
12 degrees less, and he fucking lets one go in his fucking cage. Got for the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, like, tests the... Dude, fucking everything in this movie, I love. It's, again, dumb humor, but it always makes me laugh. You get Dane Cook as the waffler. <laughs> I do remember that, and I was surprised to see him. I was like, I <laughs> He's like, full day crispy, bad guys all history. He's like, oh, I also have a syrup of truth. And he pulls up a little bottle of syrup. It's low fat. <laughs> yeah, it's low fat. And he fucking burns. He's like, and I burn them with my waffle. And he fucking, his face is all jacked. And I instantly thought that syrup of truth was way better than the last one. True, 100%. 100%. You give me when, a waffle a syrup of truth. I'm like, yeah, so anyway, I fucking killed him. Yeah, I was going to say, you give me some, <laughs> some pancakes, you pour some syrup of truth on there, dude, I'll fall victim every time. But you throw and, that lasso around him, like, ooh, papi. <laughs> <laughs> no King James here, bro. No King James here. Put it around my wrists, please. <laughs> Tie me up. When you get, they're doing the tryouts, and you get uh, Pencil Head. Pencil Head and Pencil and, Head Junior, I think. And, the little kid, he's like, and I am so pencil head. I'm the pencil head. Oh, great. It goes two generations. <laughs> yeah. I thought for sure he was going to be the eraser. Yeah, dude. It would have been hilarious, but son of pencil head and pencil head. Great. And I hate that it made me laugh because I thought, I was like, oh, he's obviously the eraser. Nope, son of pencil head. <laughs> it made me laugh. I hated myself. I want her bowling ball. Dude, that bowling ball is dope. I'm just throwing that out there. I want her bowling I ball. That's where my dad went as he was in a bowling ball. Maybe, dude. Go find a bowling ball with a skull in it. You might find your dad. It's right up his alley. Uh, bowling joke. No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. I walked right into that okay. one, but that is um, awesome. And then... Another all all that member cast member. Yeah. Oh, Mitchell's in this one. That's the yeah. invisible boy. Mm -hmm. He says, I can only go invisible when nobody's staring at me. Including himself. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. When they say when they're like trying to get past the phaser. Yeah. And he's like, okay, everybody look away. And he's like, I can do this. And then he fucking comes out of being invisible and he has no fucking clothes on. I right. did it as a – this is uh, – Hank Azaria is the Blue Raja. Yep. One of my favorite Best. characters in this show. I did this as a tagline Tuesday, and it's my favorite line in this whole movie. When he is – when she forgets something on his plate when he's at the diner. <laughs> he says, I will folk give you, and he pulls out a fork. Says, if you folk get, and he pulls out two forks. <laughs> I love his line where they're they're judging the fact that he has a spoon. It's like you threw a spoon. He's like, what? What's wrong with that? Like, why not a knife? He's like, I'm not Mr. Stab Stab. I'm not knifey boy. <laughs> and then Ben and then Mr. Furious is like, yeah, about that. There's there's like no blue in your outfit. And he just makes a whole big deal out of it. His mom gives him her fine china silverware at the Ooh. for the final battle, and it <laughs> helps Ben Stiller save uh, Janine Garofalo, who I really like. Is that when he's climbing up the wall? First of all, he runs at the wall and just scratches Ooh. at it like a cat trying to get the laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he does the dramatic scream like he would see someone do in the rain, like Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> And then Hank just, <laughs> and they're just ting 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 ting. And I love that uh, the shoveler gives him like the nod of approval, like "good job." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you brought this movie up. I forgot how much I fucking love Mystery Men, and always have, and always will. In all honesty, it's a classic. Oh, I was expecting to not like this movie because both of you guys overhyped this. I had never seen it before today. Yowza. Yeah. Wow. I don't hunt down Ben Stiller movies. That's fair. You, you I don't know. hunt down Hank Azaria movies. I've seen Night at the Museum. I don't need to watch them twice. 
Do you know, Bay Hank is very a fan. Let me interrupt whatever you're actually saying. Please continue. Oh, that was it. All right. <laughs> I thought there would um, be more. Speaking of Night of the Museum, I want your take on it. Eames, I guess. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. Yeah. Every bit about that movie. All I enjoy parts. I I enjoy the first one. I love the premise. Uh -huh. <laughs> the premise is fucking great. And I think we talked we did talk about a Ronald Williams episode. Mm -hmm. This is a stellar cast. Mm -hmm. But they did not utilize Robin Williams. And even to this day, knowing that he's underutilized, it's still disappointing. Yeah. Dude, and I agree. The premise could be cool. And then you put Ben Stiller in the lead. And it's gone from there. <laughs> that yeah. night, I didn't like the movie in general. I thought they didn't execute as well as they could have. That's fair. But There's parts I like, though. Like, oh, Wilson. And fuck, I think Steve Kugler, I think. It's the Roman. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. The cowboy and breaking mm -hmm. down the wall and then them all joining forces to tie up Ben Stiller and get the train and hit him in the uh -huh. head. Yeah. There's something great. Yeah. They're like, and again, yeah. parts. But maybe parts. that's the thing with Ben Stiller, dude. Parts. Parts. parts the movie's Except, Dodgeball. The whole movie's funny. Except Dodgeball, Zoolander, and Mystery Men. The whole things in general. <laughs> the whole thing. Fuck no. Zoolander 2. Nope, fuck that movie. Um, and in Night at the Museum 2, they brought the in Joan Hill. What? Night at the Museum 2, the electric boogaloo. The electric boogaloo. They brought in Jonah Hill, and he played a security guard. I did enjoy that part. I, ain't gonna <laughs> I love Jonah Hill, and I couldn't. I just couldn't with this movie, dude. Nothing this about movie, the second movie's one. Not great. Nothing about the second one I enjoy. Even having Jonah Hill in there. My problem is I don't. I'm not big on Ben Stiller. I'm not big on Amy Adams. Yeah, dude, I agree. I did not think she was a good Amelia Earhart, personally. Yeah, so. he's the worst Lois Lane. Just throwing that out there. Well, you ain't wrong. But... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any movies we're missing that we want to bring up? I also want to mention the Tower High sucked ass. Don't watch it. Eddie Murphy. Everybody's oh. past their prime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got Matthew Broderick too, who's just fucking boring in everything he does. Except it's like the wild. It's like the wild hogs of heist movies. Dude, it really is. That's <laughs> probably why they did it. Because they're like, well, fuck, they made a movie popular. Let's do this. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Not I guess a no for me. Yeah, no, I agree. That's a no. <laughs> a lot of a lot of Ben Stiller movies are a no for me. Overrated actor. Overrated mm -hmm. as a comedic actor, I think, personally. Dodgeball is his best work. It looked like it was a unanimous decision. We all love it. Yeah, hundred percent. Classic movie. Greatest sports movie ever. Obviously. I didn't know who was out. I thought she was too late. It slipped out of my hand. I can't expect to hold onto a ball. We're sweating like grease monkeys out here. Okay, sudden death. <laughs> oh, and he's out. <laughs> I hope he timed that and didn't, hope so too. didn't just <laughs> drop out of nowhere. That would be fucking hilarious. That would be fucking I don't hilarious. know if he's that good, though. I don't think he is, and especially because we need him to end the episode. <laughs> That's funny. That's oh. what I was just thinking. I went to oh. go end it, and I can't. <laughs> I can only leave studio. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I looked at it too and I was like, <laughs> well, if we all leave, it'll all still right, be. We can't off. leave yet because, first of all, my shot is going out to Braun Strowman. Thank you, Braun, for this lovely whiskey cinema moment. Oh, dude, I might puke in all honesty. This is good. Do it. But make sure you catch it on camera. We need those views. <laughs> this episode's struggling. We need vomit. Oh my god, dude, I hate pickles so much. I don't know if you realize how happy I am. <laughs> the happiest I've been in a while. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm good. I just, man, you gotta get it done. I gotta you get it done. Man, it's like jumping in a cold pool. Let's do it. Okay, I'm good. You ready? I'm ready. Cold Thanks. pool of pickle juice. Fuck you, Amanda.
Oh, oh, fuck that. Yeah. Oh, that's so terrible. <laughs> That was fucking disgusting. <laughs> I fucking hate pickles. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm still my new favorite wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever bet against a monster among men. Wrap it up. Fucking disgusting. Wrap this thing up. <laughs> Okay, guys, I heard you now. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning our Ben Slur episode. Sorry about our technical difficulties. We appreciate you. Thank you so much to Jordan, who loves pickle juice. And Brandon, thank you, Rich. Thank you, Jordan. We'll fix it next week. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Stay fresh.